Hi everyone and welcome back to a quick life food. So today we're going to be doing something very exciting which is our DIY brine shrimp hatchy kit. This kit comes with everything you need including the brine shrimp and all the equipment you need to hatch these eggs. Now these eggs will hatch within about 24 to 48 hours. It's very exciting because you can feed them straight into your tank because the uh, the kit actually sits on top of the tank. So it's perfect for everyone who has an aquarium, wants some extra food for your fish and your live foods. Now, I'm gonna go through the instructions step by step and you can follow me and you can read the instructions and you'll be set up in no time. So firstly, you wanna find a 1.25 liter bottle of water. Now, I've just got mine from Woolworths. As you can see, I have emptied it. I've emptied the water into just a glass container to put aside, which I'll need later. And at the top, I've cut off the base. So about three centimeters from the base, there'll be a crease in the water bottle. You just wanna give it a bit of a snip with scissors and cut around so that you have no base. So after you've done that, the second step is to attach the pedestal. Now, what is the pedestal? This piece here is the pedestal. Now, the pedestal comes with a quite a thick sort of area there to put onto your tank. This is because every tank size is different, but usually this size fits. However, if you do have a smaller tank, you need to add in one of the three inserters here. So I've already added mine and then it comes with this one and this one also. Now from there, you can decide which one fits right onto your tank. Okay, so secondly, you want to attach the bottle to the pedestal. Now, as you can see, my bottle doesn't fit onto my pedestal. And that is what this accessory here is for because one fits perfectly onto the pedestal like that and then straight onto your bottle. Now, you wanna make sure it's very tight because you don't want any water leaking, but that is how it should look, okay? Number three, the pedestal base has a groove that is suitable for most fish tanks. Yep, four, find the air tube and cut two four centimeter air lines. Now, this is because you are given one air line and you need to cut your pieces yourself. So these are my two four centimeter airlines. From here, a piece of the airline is attached to the, let me just show you here, these two pieces here, these connectors, you want to put one on there, four centimeters. Then from here, you're going to attach your one way valve, pop that right in there. Fits in pretty easy, but just make sure it's tight. And then from there, you want to attach your other four centimeter piece so that you're left with something that looks a bit like this. And then, once that is done, there you go, you attach the piece that fits to the air pump. Perfect, so that's one side done. The second side is quite easy. The airline that you have left, you simply pop it onto the other connector there. And then this stopper here is so that none of the brine shrimp or water falls out into your tank. But when you're ready for it, you can let that happen. So we're going to just, you just need to open it up to slide it in and then once it's in you can close it like that so as you can see it's completely closed off and it has no room for air or water to come out so that there is your finished product and what you should see okay now, as you can see, only one side is open and the other side has the equipment on it. That's because this is the side that falls outside of your tank. So I'll just get a tank example. Here's my container, which will act as a tank. 
and that is going to sit right there. Put it on the clear side. Right there. So that's all ready to go. Now, from here, I've already got my sticker on, but what I want to do is we are up to, we've done all the airlines, so we are up to step 10. So after you've placed, pasted the sticker on here, this is just for measuring purposes. You don't need it, it's up to you. You want to uh, attach everything to a tank, I've done that. Then when you're ready, pour a uh, thousand mil of water. So one liter of water into the bottle. Okay, so first make sure everything is tight. Make sure no, no water can leak out. And go ahead, start pouring. I've got around one liter here. Tank will be much more stable than this container, but there you go. I haven't got exactly one litre, but this is just for the demonstrating purposes, guys. So after that is done, I want to add two spoons of sea salt and 1.5 spoons of artina. So if we're going to do the sea salt first. The spoon that we have for measuring we have, is included. This is a spoon that is your guide, it's a teaspoon. So I've already measured my two teaspoons of sea salt and I'm going to add that in there. Okay. So once I've done that, I am going to do the next step, which is 1.5 spoons of Artemia. And that is just the whole bottle that we provided for you. Okay. Oh, as you can see, Now, because I've only filled up about 800 ml, I can let that sit for about five minutes. And then after the five minutes, I'll notice that the eggs have hydrated a little and it's a perfect time to add more. So this is something you can do and what we recommend at Aquatic Life Food. It's not in the instructions, but it's a good way to just fill about half and then refill it more. So the eggs hydrate and they start flowing around the entire bottle. So after you've added the sea salt and artemia, you let the eggs sit for 30 to 50 minutes. So this is after you've already added the second lot of water. And then you can turn on your air pump. So that's one thing that is obviously not included in this kit, but something most aquarium keepers will have is an air pump and that attaches to this yellow component here. Now, once you have your air pump, you can attach it to the yellow component. Um, with or without airline depending on your air pump and after the five minutes is up which we probably won't have time for in this video you can add the rest of the water now the air pump is going to just completely um, circulate this brine shrimp in about 24 to 48 hours you'll have your brine shrimp ready and they'll be hatched now what you want to do to make sure that your light is in the correct areas of this brine shrimp hatching kit is you can actually use you need to you can use this as a cover but you will need some sticky tape or something similar to hold it together. Otherwise, if you feel like you have your lighting under control, that's fine. However, when it comes to having the brine shrimp released, what you need to do is, when it comes to that time, what you need to do is you have your air pump on this side, you're going to release on this side. When it comes to the releasing part, you wanna just hold a light and make sure your lighting is at the bottom of the container, of the bottle, sorry. And that way all the baby brine shrimp will be attracted to that light. And then you can easily release them by unstopping the stopper, and letting them run free. Now, there are many options. I'll put this aside and to show you the many options we have for harvesting 
which is the vials. We have measuring cups. We have the sieve, which is a perfect size for brine shrimp. We have this here. We have the pipette. So this is all included in your kit also, so that once you have your brine shrimp, which will happen very quickly, you can choose how to harvest them. So you can put them in the vials and you can, each vial is quite small, but you can choose to save them so there's not too much water and you can freeze them for some leftover food for later for your, um, for your fish and your plankton. Or you can simply feed the brine shrimp straight straight into your tank so as you can see it hasn't even been that long and already my brine shrimp have distributed nice and evenly there is still quite a thick layer at the top don't get me wrong but they're hydrating very nicely so that is all you need to know for how to set up your brine shrimp patching kit if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and there are sort of vari variations of ways that you can do this so it's not a strict process however what I've done is one great way that we do recommend at Aquatic Club Food so if you have any questions please let us know and if you have any recommendations from your own experience please let us know and we look forward to your feedback we look forward to hearing how your brine shrimp hatching kit goes thank you